You are doing so well so far. So let's see, what have we learned? We've learned to create a hyperlink. Here it is. And here, we can open it in a new tab or a new window. Pops up like this. Try it again. It still works. But what if, what if there was something wrong with what's been written here or here? We might want to tell somebody about it. Okay, let's put a contact, the editor link in and see what happens. Now this is gonna be a little bit different because this is gonna force the computer to open up the mail client. In this case, it's probably gonna be Outlook, but whatever you use. So let's see how it looks. A hyper reference equals, that's exactly the same as before. We will close that and we will put contacts, the editor, here we go. Now, the only difference is in here, we're not going to use this HTTPS, okay? What we are going to do is we're going to say mail to colon, and then we just type an email address. There you go, double check, make sure I spelt it right, don't want it to go to the wrong person. And we will go ahead and just save that. Control and S, there it is. And refresh. <gasps> now it has put it right next to it. Do I want it next to it? Maybe I'm gonna show you another little tag that you can use, special tag, the break tag. Okay, now you may have noticed, every time I make a change, I get a little blue dot up here. When I press Control and S, it disappears. What could that mean? That's right. That means it has saved the changes. There we go. On a new line. Contact the editor. The Outlook opens up. There we go. Okay, I'm going to close this down because I'm not going to do this. And we're done. Give it a try.